Hi, welcome back to the Chop Life channel where we chop life so life doesn't chop you. Listen, in this video, man's gonna be doing a story time about the freakiest girl I've ever met. So, man, them, I started chatting to one beanie on Snap. Two twos now, we've been speaking all day, and now she's already telling me she wants me to bend her in half like a garden chair. But I be will, this bitch was on the bigger side, blood, so I don't think I could survive even if she got on top of me. But man, done went along with it, though. I be will, I even got a little bit cheeky myself. I told her after I'm done with you, you're gonna need a wheelchair. Yeah, yeah, you ain't walking for sick, baby. Baby Will, that was a fat lie, blood. Cause the last fat thing I clouted said she couldn't feel shit, bruv. I had to lie to that bitch and say I didn't even put it in yet, babes. Don't worry about that, sweetheart. But little did she know I was already balls deep. I was just lacking the inches. Two twos now. The girl I'm chatting to now tells me to come over Saturday night. I told her I'm dead, blood. So I make my way over to her yard and I give her a little one two text when I'm outside. Two twos now. I hear the door's open. So I look up from where the voice is coming from now and I see two massive Wallam Malones hanging out the window. Those motherfuckers were so damn big it was blocking my view to see her face, blood. Two twos now. I open the door but before I go upstairs I give my little Wadini a pep talk and I'm like to my little Wadini listen bruv we are gonna clot another fat thing but this time we're working as a team because you know what there's no I in team and I don't want to have to strangle you in a toilet just to get you awake again you know then we're there because that one there's a bit embarrassing but I can't lie my Wadini understood the assignment because now every step I walk up blood my Wadini is just wising by the time I got to her bedroom, my thing was standing up strong and bending to the left. Taking a little first exit at the roundabout kind of setting. Two twos now, I knock on her door and she tells me to come in. And then I just see this big thing sitting at the end of her bed with her fucking watermelons hanging by her goddamn knees. And she's all naked and that. I be real, I don't even see that many rolls in Greg's blood. Mm, it wasn't looking good. Two twos now, she starts dangling handcuffs. And my Wadini was having none of it. And I can't even blame my thing for going soft blood because I'm shitting it. I'm thinking, nah, no, what have I got myself into? Two twos now, this bitch gets up and puts a blindfold on me blood. Then she slaps me on the bed and now I'm doing up a one two starfish position. And then this bitch starts taking my clothes off with force. I be real blood, when she took off my top out to make sure my head was still connected to man's neck and that blood is crazy. I had to let that bitch know, listen, take time, care and that. Two twos now, this bitch handcuffs me to the bed bruv, and now there's no escaping bruv. Two twos now, this bitch finally takes a blindfold off of me, and I just see the bitch standing at the end of the bed with my blood clot belt in her hands. And she's all like, well, 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 haven't we got a naughty boy here? I said, nah, not even, miss, I'm a good you. But I'd be real, at this point, I thought, sit. That was a dumb decision letting a white girl fucking handcuff me to her bed. Yeah, she's wild trying to bring back slavery and that. I thought, nah, you know what? This shit ain't fair, blood. Man done sacrificed man's ancestors for this. I don't want no involvement. Two twos, now. She went straight into whip man's Wadini, blood. But I said, lesser that, blood. I jumped back. But I can't lie, that belt hit the tip of my ball bags, blood. I be real, that shit sent one of my balls flying into man's stomach. But I'd be real, I was trying to stay positive. At least I have the left nut blood. And I'd be real, my left nut is my favourite nut. It's a little bit bigger than the white. But I told the bitch, listen, less of the belt blood, I'd be real. And she's all like, oh, so you're not into whipping now? And I said, listen, babes, less of that is 2022, Black Lives Matter. Okay, okay, we'll try something a little bit different then. And then she slaps the blindfold back on me and it goes quiet for about a minute. And now I'm like, hey, listen, babes, what, you still there, blood? I can't see shit and it's all quiet, blood. But man, them, I clocked. If I slightly tilt man's head back, I can see out of the blood clot blindfold cuz. Two twos now, I see a heading from my downstairs area. And I thought, you know what, it's about time I get some sucky sucky action. But then I clock, there's some sort of silver small object in her hand. And I'm trying to figure out what it is, blood. But man, them, it's too late, blood. Man, can I really feel some cold hard object pressing around my booty hole, blood? I can't lie, man, then my first reaction was to kick out man's legs. All of a sudden, I feel my toe in the next man's mouth. 
Now she's all like, what the fuck are you doing? And then she takes her blindfold off of me now and I just see her lip bleeding. And she's all like, you said you was freaky, what's going on? And I'm like, listen babes, yeah I'm sorry for your lip and that, but I can't lie, I just wanted to come here and slap you in dogs. But you see you, blood, you're doing that racially motivated beatings on my ass, blood. And then you're trying to stuff me like I'm a builder bear, blood. What are I going for that? Two twos now. Nah. She's like, well, this clearly ain't working. You might as well just go home. So yeah, man just left, went home, and slapped Black Lives Matter in my Instagram bio, blood. But listen, if you did enjoy that video, please leave a like, subscribe if you're new, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.